you know, Coach, you guys have had two conference players a year, back-to-back -back years. What does that say about your program, how far it's come under your time here? Well, I think, first of all, it speaks for, for the players. You know, they've put in the hard work. Uh, they've been dedicated. They've trusted the process. Um, so I, I think it says a lot about the hard work that they've put in over the last four years, and hopefully we can keep up the player development that we've been doing because I think our staff does a phenomenal job with that. How excited was uh, Mitsushi when she got that news? I think she was very excited. I think she was a little in shock at first, mm -hmm. uh, but you know she deserved it. She was really consistent all year. She worked really hard on the off season on her weaknesses and uh, making a lot of adjustments that we asked her to make. And I was just really proud of the development that she had over this past season. What's the team like right now? You guys have to wait. You don't have to play till mm -hmm. Sunday. So. Yeah. Is the eagerness there? Like, come on, let's go. Yeah, I think we're very hungry. I think we're very focused. We've talked about uh, since the Providence game about how much energy can we have. And we're evaluating each drill, each film session, each weight each weight room session, did we have Big East Championship level energy in that particular segment? And I think if we can take it and focus you know, one segment at a time, one play at a time, one possession at a time, it'll keep everybody else in the present. You guys have been hit with a lot of adversity this year with injuries. What's been your message to the team for the coming down the stretch here? It, honestly, adversity makes you stronger, and it makes you figure out who, what you're made of. And so for us, we've it's never been about one player. It's never been about, you know, who's scoring or who's the hot hand. It's about each other, and it's about sharing the basketball, and it's about the system. So I think for us, we just got to go down there confidently. We got to make sure that we're playing for each other. We're having each other's backs. And the best thing we can do for Erica right now is, is play as hard as we possibly can each game, each possession, and really go out there and hopefully win it for her. You guys had a little bit of a slide there about two or three weeks ago, but you guys seem to be a little bit more on the up and up and you had yeah. the conference tournament. Where do you feel like this team is at? I think we're in a really good spot. I think this uh, past week of practice has really helped us get used to playing without Erica. You know, the hard part about the Friday Sunday schedule is you don't get a lot of time to make adjustments. Uh, so for myself and our staff, we were really excited that this week we could just get in the practice, uh, just the team and just ourselves, and really fix some stuff and really get on the same page and simplify and, and make sure our team feels really confident and really clear about what we want um, going down there to the Chicago and the Big East tournament. Success also breeds some of that in the past. So where are now with the girls having had these success in the past preseasons in our life to put them in this position now going into this part of the year? Yeah, I think we're really confident, and I think we play much better when we are. Uh, at the same time, though, we want to make sure that we're going down there with an underdog mentality. You know, when, when we're playing like we have something to prove and like we have a target on our back, I feel like we play much better. So we didn't win the conference championship last year, so we're going down to take back the trophy. And I think if we have that mindset like we're going to, you know, take something back versus try to hold on to something, I think we play a lot less fearful and a lot more aggressive versus passive. I think the last time the seedings came out, you guys could possibly host rounds one or two. Do the girls kind of use that as motivation? Like, we want to play on our court in the national champ in the national tournament. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I think it's in the back of our minds. However, we've been really focused this season about taking it one game at a time. So right now, our only goal is we have to beat either St. John's or, or, or Seton Hall. After that, we'll move on to the next opponent. But if you think too far in ahead and you, you get out of the present, I think that's where you lose your focus. Where were you when you heard the news that you are going to be Biggie's player of the year, and how did you celebrate? I was in my coach's office. She had told me, and I was in shock, so I didn't know how to celebrate, but she told me that she was really proud of me, and it just meant a lot. And you said on Twitter that this is more than just an individual award. This is a team award. Um, how, how have you uh, kind of advanced as a player over your years here at Marquette? Yeah, and like I said on Twitter, I said this is, you know, one person can't do everything. It's Credit to my coaches, my teammates, my family, and my support system. You know, I couldn't have done it without any of them. And I would just say this year, it was just, compared to last year, we just wanted everybody to improve. And I think that's what we did as a team. We, we keep on improving, and we still are trying to improve going into the NCAA tournament, into the conference tournament. Back in January, your coach said you were playing at another level in her eyes. Did you feel that same way? And what was that extra level for you at that point of the season? Just hearing that from my coach, it gives me a lot of confidence going into games. Um, when, when you hear that, you kind of just have to take it and run with it and play like it. And she tells me that I got to believe in myself. And when, you, when, when I do that, I, I am playing at another level. Where do you feel like this team is at as you guys head into this conference tournament? I think we're in a really good, good spot. Um, over the past few years, I feel like we're more mature. 
So I feel like that's going to help us tremendously going into the conference tournament. So I think we're in a really good spot. And as Coach said before, we just got to still have that underdog mentality because that's when we play at our best. You guys have been hit with a lot of injuries this year, Erica being the latest example. How have you guys been able to kind of overcome that? We just got to play for her. She's a key part of our team. And even though she's not on the floor with us anymore, we just have to play for her. She's our sister, you know, one of my great friends, all of our great friends. So we just got to play for her. And I know we know how bad she wanted it. So we just got to put the extra weight on our shoulders and try to go get it done for her. How has she been cheering and supporting you all on a daily basis? She's been coaching us. She's a real hard coach. She's a <laughs> she, So she's been telling us what we need to hear versus what we want to hear. She wants the best for us now, and she's been our, our greatest cheerleader now.